and welcome back to Questioning Sense with me, Matt. Okay, this afternoon, um, beautiful day, quite summery still, despite the fact we're hitting autumn, so not necessarily needing to wear freshies. But I thought today um, we'll have a look at quite a special fragrance to me, and that is from Autoprezi, and this is called Seminalis. Um, as I've mentioned many times before, the other auto bottles, very plain bottle, um, sort of the embroidered cotton type thing stuck into the glass. And they all come with these very different but exquisite caps. Really, really solid stuff. And I think this is kind of like, oh, like a mother of pearl sort of insert here. Now, this came out in 2016 and I've had it for quite a while. And it's, in all honesty, it's taken me quite a while to understand it. But it is quite an important fragrance to me, and I'll tell you for why. Um, regular viewers will know that I'm a, a big fan of Alessandro Gaultieri and the Nasamoto range. And for me, maybe even more so, the, um, the Auto Parisi range have been really, really quite special to me. And there's quite a lot of them. I have Bergamusk, I have Veridi, I have Taroni, I have Megamara, and I have <clears throat> Seminalis. Now... This is quite an important one to me because this is going to be the last one I get of the current range because I've tried them all now um, and they're all unique and they're all quite interesting in their own separate, in their own sort of individual ways. But I think Seminalis represents the last one that I actually want to own. The others are good um, and I recommend that you certainly try them all. Um, but this is the last one that's really captured me in, in a way that makes me want to actually physically purchase it and own it. So as I say, this came out in 2016. It's called Seminalis. I won't go into uh, why it's called Seminalis. I'll let you uh, Google that one. But it's, um, yeah, it's not the nicest of, uh, of names, shall we say. So have a look and see what you think. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Okay, um, I am wearing it as you'd expect. So what I'll do for the purposes of the review, we'll have a little spray and then we'll talk about it. And also why it's taken me a long time to sort of get to grips with it. Now, it's an interesting scent. Um, I can tell you that straight away. For an auto parisi or you know anything from Gaultier, they're normally quite loud and brash, and this isn't. This has very, very good longevity, um, but it doesn't project massively. However, this lasts for, on me forever, but it never really pushes out that far. It's quite loud in the opening, um, as you'd expect. Again, it's it's a you know it's a, um, an extract of parfum, so it's a very very thick, heavy fragrance in terms of the uh, the, the density of the liquid. It, it's very oily; it stays on your skin, but it's not particularly loud. That being said, whenever I've worn this, it just keeps giving off little whiffs for hours and hours and hours. Just when you think it, it's gone, it's there again. The longevity is extraordinary, although it's not a loud longevity, it's always there. And surprisingly, people pick up on it more than you. I don't know whether I, I get a bit overused to it and I can't pick up on it as much as I can say with Taroni or, or some of the more loud ones. But other people do seem to pick up on pick up on it and it, it always, always gets positive results. It's a beautiful smelling fragrance. Now, what you get, I mean, obviously, because it is uh, one of Mr. Gaultieri's uh, fragrances there are no notes available so again this is all down to what you smell um, uh, and, and what other people have interpreted it to be most of the reviews I've read online about Seminalis are positive um, there's a few that don't like it and you know, it's understandable because you know it's one of Gaultieri's and they're always always divisive never for everyone I don't think that's what he's about nor what what these fragrances should be but for me when you get when when this sprays you get almost condensed milk it's very sweet um, and it's very very milky there's an almondy note there and as it develops some patchouli comes in and at one point this does smell a little bit like Mugler's Amen but a much more refined less screechy less synthetic less sharp version of it and for at least 10 minutes you get this wow that really does smell like Amen but it changes quite quickly after that. So I don't think you're getting some, if, you know, if you're a fan of Moogler's Amen, you'll love that bit. And if you don't like Moogler's Amen, you'll soon get over it because it passes. And I think what, what that is, is a little bit of patchouli in here that cuts into the sweetness that kind of gives that impression. And then as it goes on, this creaminess comes in, this sweetness. The sandalwood, to me, is the absolute star of the show here. It's this warm, sweet, 
creamy sandalwood, which is an absolute joy. I think there's some tonka in there or, or maybe some vanilla that gives it that. There's a tiny bit of musk, but quite an animalic musk that kind of comes in. Some people are picking oud up in this and I'm not. I think people are confusing the, the, the musk with oud because it's not an oudy frag at all. Um, and it took me a lot of wearing it to, to sort of kind of think, why would people think there's oud? Because originally I was getting none. There's almost a little tiny bit of fruit in there, maybe orange, that sort of sits around and it doesn't really change that much. It doesn't stay this sweet for very long. Well, saying that, it's sweet in the opening uh, and the sweetness kind of takes a backseat as time goes on. It becomes more about the creamy woods. It's, as I say, condensed milk is the kind of thing, condensed milk with almonds in it on sandalwood is, is where you, you're getting this beautiful concoction coming up from your skin. It's it's quite, quite, um, it's remarkable. It's a very, very clever scent. Perfect for just about anywhere. It doesn't see, it gets a bit louder and it projects a bit more the warmer you are. So certainly you can wear it in eye heat because I have and it's been absolutely wonderful. I think it's also quite a warming scent so you could wear it in the cold. It's an all weather, all, 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 all all situational fragrance I think it's, it's very very you know versatile you can do pretty much you can wear it pretty much anywhere um, it would suit, suit formal attire very much but I like you know I, I wear it casually um, and, and enjoy it I think it's completely unisex uh, you know it can be worn by a man it can be worn by a woman anyone could, can wear this and any age as well because it's not it's not a stuffy old fragrance, but it's not an exciting young fragrance either. It's one of those that sort of fits perfectly in the world where, you know, anyone can wear it. Just pick it up, spray it, and away you go. Just another word about the performance, though. It's it's such a strange one. I When I first got it, I was a little disappointed, I'll be completely honest, because I was expecting something a lot more sort of, um, you know, a lot more projection from it than, than it has. But uh, And then I kind of sort of just sort of drifted away from it, and then I've worn it a lot more lately. And I really, really appreciate the fact that it lasts so long. And as I say, these constant whiffs are there. So, you know, when you think it's gone, it hasn't. It always stays with you and it does last an incredibly long time. It's one that, you know, if I go out in the evening, when I wake up in the morning, I can still, still pick it up on my skin. If you get it on clothes, however, it becomes incredibly loud. It's really weird. I've worn it to work a few times. And then when I'm picking up my work shirt, you know, that I've taken off from the day before to put in the wash. You can really, really smell it. It's really, really powerful. But it's warm, it's creamy, it's sweet, it's comforting. There's so much going on here. And, you know, it's one that you're going to need to spend some time with. Like, as I did, when I first got it, I didn't really, really kind of get just how complex this is. Very, very complex um, fragrance. Very, very worthy of being in the Auto Parisi range. I think this is an excellent fragrance. And again... Beautiful presentation, fantastic lid, um, totally, totally worth it. If you can get in store and try it, please do, but you will need to try it more than just having a simple spray on your wrist and taking it home. If you can get a sample, I really, really recommend that you do because don't miss out on this. This is an excellent fragrance. But as I say, don't expect to be blown away with it. This is one that you're gonna slowly fall in love with like I have, I'm assuming anyway. But listen, thank you very much for your time. Sorry my voice is going a bit today. It's, um, I don't know, got a bit of a cold coming, I think. Another one. So listen, thank you very much for your time. I've got a load of zoologist um, reviews to get through, which will hopefully be getting out to you guys soon. So please stay in touch with them, and we will be back soon. So thank you very much for your time, and bye!